DD101 is a new synthesis-based drum machine made for Reaper. It's a JSFX plugin, very interesting, nice UI. It uses synth-based emulations of classic drum sounds, as well as some new ones. This is free, you can get it in Repack right now. How does it sound? That's the first cowbell. So a bunch of different sounds. And we've got a volume control. We've got a pan. We've got a tuning. And we've got a decay knob for each of the sounds. The, the hi-hats have a few variations, but they actually switch together. Maybe that will be more flexible later on. We can also make them velocity sensitive by right dragging. We can't preview them like that, but I'm right dragging on the knob and it, it does this outline. And it even works on the panning. Um, so high velocity will, will pan to the right. There are a bunch of presets here for different kits. These might be sounding kind of the same, but we've got gain, pan, uh, tuning. Uh, Synthesis-based drum machine. Pretty cool. The vibe from that interface is, yeah, yeah, I love it. I think it's really cool. Um, and then these are additional um, controls for kick and snare, the amount of noise and, and things like that. So I haven't really played around with these too much. But yeah, really cool interface. Cool that this is made in, in Reaper. Cool that it's free. Let's see if we can make something. It can't multi out yet. Probably possible to. Um, oh, never mind. I think that is actually implemented now. Um, I just, I think it, it wasn't before today. So it looks like it, it can. You just go to the uh, the routing thing here. Oh, what am I doing here? Preamp volume. <laughs> Might just do some something like that. Um, tap tempo. 201 beats per minute. Okay. I did say we're speed running this, so... <laughs> Uh, let's do that, and we'll start on bar five, and that is almost eight bars, but not quite. Duplicate that track. I forgot how to play it. I keep fucking it up. Good enough to get something to program drums to. Let's do a four count with... With that. That's probably too bad. Yeah, that will probably work. I should probably talk more as I'm doing this, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Has the drum got reverb effects on it? No. Uh, if you're hearing any reverb, it's probably just bouncing off my mic. Now it's gonna be like... Blast beat. 
maybe two of them, and then the last one, just maybe constant eighth notes. Something like that. We probably need like a filter on this. See what comes up with the word filter. Let's try filter freak. Okay, so let's start here. We'll see how that works. As an intro, I think that's kind of cool. This is somewhat reminding me of uh, the band Pitch Shifter. Are you guys gonna download this plugin? What do you think? Is this something that you could find useful? The Sykes Dumb Drums? Is there anything specifically you want me to, to try out? You want to hear more different presets? Cool, yeah, good to hear. I, I think he's doing some real great work on JSFX, especially with the UIs, like making really interesting pixel art stuff. Like, um, he's got amazing stuff. What was it? Dusk Verb. Like, look at this UI. It's so fucking good. I don't understand how to use it. But this UI is so awesome. <laughs> and the the lava reverb. Modizer. Nobody, like, making stuff for Reaper or any other plugin format is doing stuff like he's doing. So I think he's doing amazing. He should be charging for his, his stuff because he could definitely... He could definitely be making money or should be making money from his, his work here. What is this preset? There's a good usable range for the tuning on here. I really like that. All right, so I'm gonna look at these other more advanced controls here for the, for things like decay, pitch decay. So you can, tons of flexibility there.
There's some pitch shifter song. Actually, that sounds like two different pitch shifter songs. Uh, this album, I think it still holds up. <laughs> it's still a good album. Okay, um, let's actually just move these down to their own tracks. Change the amp. Yeah, so I, I think for these sort of like manic, fast tempo things, it works pretty well, but I would probably also blend it in with another virtual instrument, like I'll do addictive drums too, just as an example. Set up with a more standard kind of um, rock drum thing. Let's try this one. We'll see if, if the drum app is at least somewhat similar. Let's take these two capsules down. Nope, drum map is different. Where is the hi-hat? Oh, I think it's just like a wrong octave. Come on. There we go. Okay, how are we doing now? Starting to sound interesting, I think. Let's. Better sounding real drums, more contrast, but more contrast between the sections would might be cool. That's about all the time I have. That was a, the 20 minute speed run or whatever. Um, I think the Psych Drums, Dumb Drums 101 plugin, it's already great. It's going to be even better once he feels like it's finished. He's still calling it alpha, an alpha plugin, but it's got multi out, it has presets, it has a bunch of sounds, it has advanced controls for, for uh, pitch and amp decay for the kick and snare. Maybe he'll do that for all the others. But yeah, this is a great start. Super cool UI. And uh, I would highly recommend it.